Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's May 26th, 2023. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. Firstly, French renewable natural gas company Waga Energy has commissioned its first overseas RNG facility, and it's coming to North America. The company's breakthrough proprietary technology, the Waga Box, was created specifically to recover and upgrade landfill gas into renewable natural gas. The new facility is being built in Quebec, Canada, and is slated to be Waga Energy's largest RNG facility to date. The new facility is expected to fully meet the gas consumption needs of approximately 8,000 Quebec households. Waga's CEO said, quote, The successful commissioning of North America's first Waga Box unit marks a key milestone in the rollout of our solution, designed to tackle climate change and promote the energy transition. The first unit outside France is also Waga Energy's largest, proving our ability to deploy our innovative technology throughout the world, drawing on our team's expertise and the dynamism of local ecosystems. Renewable natural Natural gas is a clean and local energy source that harnesses the potential of landfill waste and directly substitutes fossil-based energy for heating and transportation, making it a key driver of the energy transition, end quote. Currently, three other WAGA facilities are planned for Canada with an additional facility in the United States. Moving to Roanoke, Virginia now, residents in the Roanoke Valley may see lower energy bills in the near future. The Roanoke Gas Company is partnering with the Western Virginia Water Authority on a more than $20 million project that turns gas from wastewater into renewable energy. The CEO of the Roanoke Gas Company, Paul Nestor, says this new project lets them take the methane gas that naturally comes from wastewater pollution and turn it into energy people can use in their day-to-day -day lives, saying, quote, With our new digester conditioning equipment, we're able to capture that methane, turn it into a pipeline-quality natural gas, and provide it to our customers in the Roanoke Valley, end quote. The COO of the Western Virginia Water Authority, Scott Shirley, took it even further, saying that with this new wastewater treatment plant, they will be removing between 70 and 90,000 pounds of pollution from the Roanoke River every day. Now moving out to Arizona, a pilot program that turns unrecyclable plastic waste into multicolored building blocks is growing citywide in Tucson. City Mayor Regina Romero and the City Council approved a four-year service agreement with Bifusion, a Los Angeles-based company that converts plastic waste into construction materials. The partnership will advance Tucson's goal to move past the traditional landfill model and into an era of regenerative waste-to-asset activities. Bifusion started partnering with Tucson's Ward 6 about 10 months ago to collect and transform unrecyclable plastics. The waste is collected in a bright orange 22 cubic yard container, then picked up by the city's environmental service truck and emptied at Tanks Speedway Recycling and Landfill. There, Tanks bales the waste into 12-ton loads and ships it to California so Bifusion can turn it into blocks. Bifusion will now build the blocks in Tucson. The city signed a $1 million contract and will pay $2.4 million extra to build a facility at Los Reales Sustainability Campus, where the company will operate a blocker machine called a micro-diversion platform. Though for now the plastic must be left at city drop-off sites, the company is considering offering curbside pickup services to residents as well. And just a reminder now, Recyclist is brought to you by Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com, that's diamondsci.com, or call them at 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. New technology is vastly improving the recycling capabilities in the Dallas Fort Worth, Texas area. 
FCC Environmental Services, a leading waste management provider in the area, has installed new robotic sorting technology at its materials recovery facility. This cutting-edge technology will enable the facility to start accepting and sorting paper cups and more efficiently capturing food and beverage cartons from residents throughout the greater Dallas area. This will ensure the valuable fiber found in both types of containers can go on to make new paper-based products. FCC joins a growing trend of companies and communities that are including paper cups and food and beverage cartons as part of their residential recycling programs. This initiative was made possible by a collaborative equipment grant from the Carton Council of North America, the Food Service Packaging Institute, and the NextGen Consortium. The vice president of communications with the Carton Council of North America said, quote, This robotic sorting and AI is a great example of how technology can improve recycling and ultimately contribute to our circular economy by capturing more recyclable materials. End quote. In a similar story out of Southern California, Astra Energy has announced that one of its subsidiaries, Regreen Technologies, has finalized an agreement with one of the largest independent material recycling facilities in SoCal. The agreement permits Regreen to install and operate its one-ton-per-hour waste material processing system that converts municipal solid waste into organic, compostable pellets, which can be resold to multiple marketable solutions. The facility recently received approval from the local enforcement agency of Southern California, which has some of the highest environmental standards in the world. As a result of the agreement, ReGreen will establish a research and development project at its facility to demonstrate the capability to comply with the new regulations of California's SB 1383 enacted recently in the state. The bill is designed to reduce disposal of organic waste, including edible food, in landfills, while establishing methane reduction targets for California. The purpose of the bill is to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, such as methane, while addressing food insecurity. The facility processes approximately 400 tons of municipal solid waste per day which can result in approximately 160 tons of usable and resellable pellets per day. The goal is to expand the commercial scale and become a reliable source for this type of feedstock supply, which is the type of facility that will help California reach its goal of methane reduction and landfill remediation. Now moving out to Washington State, King County recently broke ground on a new state-of-the-art recycling center that will offer greatly enhanced waste disposal and recycling services, contributing to the RE Plus initiative that will cut greenhouse gas emissions by reinventing the region's waste system. The new South County Recycling and Transfer Station in Algona, south of Auburn, will make it safer and easier to recycle appliances, glass, metals, plastic, wood, paper, compost yard waste, and even be able to take hazardous materials. The station, which was co-designed by the frontline employees who will be operating it, is scheduled to open in 2026, replacing the 60-year-old Algona transfer station. King County Executive Dow Constantine said, quote, Our modern station will make it safer and easier for the people of South King County to contribute to climate solutions by reducing waste. Our frontline employees help design a state-of-the-art station that will improve the customer experience, enhance the surrounding environment, generate renewable energy, and offer a welcoming space for environmental education, end quote. The $200 million station will advance the RE Plus initiative to recover the estimated 70% of materials currently sent to Cedar Hills Regional Landfill that could have been reused, recycled, or composted. It will contribute to a goal established in King County's Strategic Climate Action Plan to cut countywide greenhouse gas emissions in half by the end of the decade. And lastly, we just want to shout out our company to watch this week, Interflex. For over 40 years, Interflex has designed, engineered, manufactured, and constructed energy transition solutions worldwide. 
make sure to check them out online at interflex, that's E-N-E-R-F-L-E-X dot com. And that has been your Recyclist News Update for May 26th, 2023, presented by Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost. We will see you back here next week for another episode of Recyclist. Thank you.